poor me. Oh, yes, because you, you respect women so much. <laughs> you let your fucking girlfriend fuck any dude she wants. That's right. And wouldn't you believe it? She doesn't really want to fuck a lot of them. That's you better right. hope she never gets prego. Okay. Because if she does, you're raising some other dude's kid. Uh, I think it'll probably get aborted to smithereens. I'm not obsessed with her. I only bring her up when I watch actual Jake. Now, I'm not obsessed with her. I only bring her up when she's not involved. <laughs> True! Because you fucking constantly bitched for it, I'm going to finish the goddamn wing video. Remember, you asked for this. I this is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. That's right. Wall to sale, 18 months. Listen to that drunken slur, dude. He's so I didn't want to do this. Of course not, because you know that I'm going to successfully make a good food again. And for some reason, that brings you deep displeasure and cope. I think, like, me just cooking some good food should just be neutral to you <laughs> you should either be like oh i'll make that too or uh i don't care hmm but actually you're just mad it's pathetic dave i own you i own your fucking day you wanted it That you that then you claim I'm I'm, I'm obsessed. No, 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 I I never bring up actual Jake. Unless he brings up me. And I rarely bring up uh, and I rarely bring up his bitch. His bitch. <laughs> Man. Unless, of course, you know, the situation warrants it. The, the situation warrants it just whenever I make you mad? Hmm. Seems insecure. I am. All up. right, let's get in. I think this is about where I left off. Yep, La I, I was uh, sauteing some delicious garlic cloves in some yellow Kerrygold butter. Uh, and I had showed you how to prep some chicken wings and make them. Uh, and now I'm gonna fucking make a del the the one of the I've made this buffalo sauce twice now. This is like such a good buffalo sauce. It's really easy, but you should make it. <clears throat> Last night, all right. Actually, just infuse this buttery yum yum with flavor. You can hear it. By the way, uh, due to the fact that Kerrygold is a product of Ireland, he's still on, uh, dude. The it's insane. The cope. He has about his butter conspiracies. This is wild. They are allowed to keep a few secrets oh my God. from the American public. Like the fact that they may add food coloring to their butter. This is insane. See the bubbles? This is fucking insane stuff. That That's the level of cope we're on. Literally, the Irish are cutting their butter sticks with margarine so that Jake is technically wrong about his butter. That's the conspiracy we have to go to instead of just not having an argument about this. Instead of just not taking this opinion, this wrong one, one that you chose to have for no reason other than I piss you off, you have yet again cornered yourself into being humiliated by everyone that views you for like a month. What a tremendous amount of cope. I bet I bother him at work, dude. I bet he's just spending his day and he thinks of me during the day. Okay. I'm also going to add this. But even if, even if said butter, uh -huh. even if Kerrygold said butter, even if the Irish grass or the Irish clothes or the Irish whatever actually made the butter yellow in some natural way which i don't think it would but he doesn't think it would in spite of all the butter that exists 
Fuck it. Let's say it's possible. Let's say yellow butter is possible, chat. Let's just, if, we'll see. Amish butter is still better. Okay. If you like Amish butter better, eat Amish butter. So the cope is now that Jake eats butter that you don't like? That's that's what you're mad about? Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm sorry to say, Dave. I'm going to buy it when it's on sale at the store, probably. I still have more. I don't like the Amish butter roll thing. I think it's like cowy. <laughs> Stage. It's like uh, funky so MSG. The butter is salted, so I'm not going to add salt. Just a little, little MSG. Well, oh my, what? No, you're not, Umadine. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? What? Yes? Stage. Uh, some of that MSG. The yep. butter is salted, so I'm not going to add salt. Yeah. Just a little... Little MSG. Yeah. Are you are you upset? Last stream he said MSG is pretty good. For the record, he said this last stream. Does he not like MSG? New emote, please, Dave Pog. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get it. <laughs> this is pretty good, too, though. This is pretty good, too. But a Dave Pog? He's upset. Let's smoke check, by the way, to that new emote. Dave Pog. The birth of Dave Pog. Happy Pride, everyone. The birth of Dave Pog. What are you upset about, man? You're taking a long time to respond. He made a big deal about it and then didn't know what to say. He doesn't know what to say. Uh-oh. Hey Jake, what color is this Amish butter? Let me see. I'm going to I'm going to figure it out. Uh well, I'm going to be honest, it looks a little a little bit yellow. A little bit yellow to me. Still trying to figure out what to say. He still doesn't know. Look at the Dave Pogs in chat, dude. Look at the day poggers. <sighs> Buddy, are you good? Do you need something? The Amish are cutting their butter with I, piss. I don't know how to respond to that. Of course you don't know how to respond to that because you don't have an opinion that matters. I don't know how to respond to that. What time did he pog at? What time did he begin to pog? We're going on like two minutes. Dude. I, I, I truly, I, I don't know. I've never, I, I very, very infrequently uh -huh. had just my breath taken away. By the use of MSG I, in, in the buffalo sauce? <coughs> you should try it. I've, I've, I've never had that. Um... We we got to we got to get to some sort of some sort of opinion, Dave. Oh, he took his look. I guess the fact that that you need MSG and I don't. What? Proves who the better cook is. I. I disagree. MSG is delicious. Use it in some stuff. What? No, it's what, what I I You should try it. <laughs> Just a little bit. Like I'm talking like uh mine mine has like little tiny holes though and so I had to have to shake to get it out. You need a flavor enhancer and I don't. Dave, salt is a flavor enhancer. Monosodium glutamate like you feel like what <laughs> uh 
a flavor enhancer. I can't believe. I I I, I am. Go. First off, Dave, I, don't I, rag on yeah, people I, need for food. Second, well, it's not even need for food. Like MS, MSG, a little bit of MSG in your buffalo sauce is gonna fucking slap. I wouldn't put MSG on everything though. But a lot of stuff is gonna be really good, especially like slightly buttery, sweet, salty stuff. Butter, uh, buttery stuff. Um, like cheese has natural MSG in it, you know. I can't. i like you put cheese on everything. I, I and he's like, I don't need a flavor enhancer. You put cheese on everything. <laughs> you ever had Doritos? You like Doritos? The first thing I ever watched you make was a Dorito chicken bake. Those are covered in MSG, soy sauce, MSG. Like, yeah. I, Jake Smile is a flavor enhancer. I, oh, thank you. Okay, dog. What's up, bud? Okay, dog. Some black pepper. Fresh crap. No, most food does not have this MSG. Most restaurants do not use MSG. Most restaurants use butter to enhance their flavor. They just use butter. Uh, I think what Dave means... Is that, like, sometimes stuff tastes good when you add more fat to it. Uh, and a lot of times that is represented by butter, like Paula Deen's type stuff. It's a lot of French cooking. But, like, that's not the only thing. Like, olive oil is a big use. MSG is in, like, all restaurants and packaged foods. Yeah, I mean, they, they use it and stuff. It's just a, it's a thing. He's, he's mad about it. Literally, last time he watched this video, I said I was going to use a little MSG in the buffalo sauce. And he said, MSG is not that bad. He said that 24 hours ago. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this fucks, This is going to be way. plenty garlicky. So I'm not going to add more. I, uh, I, I just, he's going to, he. He's going to what? Any credibility he had in the kitchen with me is now dead. You needed MSG. I fucking don't. Dave, you should try You putting... needed a flavor enhancer. I fucking don't. You should try it. I get fine just by on salt and pepper. You do not get by just fine on salt and pepper. The only things you need is salt and pepper. Well, and I lost credibility with him on how to cook. Fascinating stuff. Uh, and if you knew how to fucking use them properly, or if you knew how to... You sometimes need to rise meat slowly to temperature... Yep. What for? You'd understand that, <laughs> but you don't, because probably your entire culinary career centered around Wendy's. I never worked at Wendy's. I worked at McDonald's garlic once. Garlic powder or anything, but you could. You that could add cayenne if you wanted to make it even hotter. Uh, you could add red pepper flakes. You do all sorts of stuff. This is just about done. Uh, let's go a couple more seconds. You're slowly rising me to temp here? No, no, no. A comfy uh, is not slowly rising me to temperature because I did it. Dave doesn't like that I'm doing that with the first fry on these. And I'm not doing it. Because <laughs> I did it. You know? Seconds. And then... My cigars are not cheap. Prove it. You get them at the gas station, bro. And... Mm, roughly that about much, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, where did you work? TGI Fridays? Buffalo Wild Wings? Mm -mm. None of those. I guarantee you, if he was a restaurant manager, he was a restaurant manager at a chain. <coughs> Not a mom and pop. I'm going to start to... <laughs> he might have been Olive Garden material. That's why he... Fuck, he thinks he knows what the fuck he's doing. I ain't working all the time. I will say that any employee of these places I haven't worked at has more experience in food service than you, and I would trust more <laughs> with this. <laughs> like... 
it's just the it's just the case, man. They're different kinds of people. Food service is just hard, and you got to work hard. and And he definitely can't do it. Dave has no restaurant experience. Get it up off the sides. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. See how I go around the edges, and then I'll go in the min in the middle. Grab the edges again. Why you're not making fucking scrambled eggs? Why, why stir things? Always keeping the sides a little clean. I'm looking at the texture. I'm smelling it. it. Smells acidic. Oh yeah, he man, he managed some shit chain place. <coughs> there ain't no way this boy has any formal training. This boy. Again, they threw out the MSG. Do you want to know a great flavor enhancer that he does have? It's called fucking butter. Yeah, it's in there. I put the MSG in the butter because it's different. Uh, you should use it. Uh, he is only going to be stuck on this forever. However, at the end of this, what you're going to see is uh, really good chicken wings, and you should make them. Did anyone try to make the chicken wings yet? Uh -huh. You don't need a deep fryer our, for it. You can only see it came together. We want to bring it up to a simmer, though, where it's not going to maintain its emulsion. And that's nowhere near enough buffalo sauce to deal with this many wings. I'm not making this many wings. He doesn't listen to words I say, ever. I'm eating six wings. I'm saving the rest in this video. I've said this multiple times. He is just too fucking dumb and too fucking alcoholic to pay attention and too fucking mad. Most of all, too fucking mad. <laughs> but Jake, I'm a vegan. How dare you not be inclusive? Uh, you can make this vegan. Um, you just have to fry a totally different thing and make a totally different buffalo sauce. Um, but all you need is, is fat and buffalo sauce to make uh, a buffalo sauce. Um, habitual Dodo, thanks for the 29 months. Did I miss Greg? Nope. Greg's next. And also, this is not an emulsion. Mayonnaise is an emulsion! Buddy, that's also an emulsion. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Emulsions this are not just mayonnaise. Not The only emulsion is not mayo. Butter in hot sauce! Yes, when you simmer this, the butter and hot sauce will stick together in a cohesive sauce. This is an emulsion. Along with way too much garlic. No, it was an awesome amount of garlic, you pussy. You can also, uh, if you are also a pussy like Dave, or manly, manly and tough, stake your masculinity on specifically this flavor uh, preference. Okay, chat? You're not a real man unless you eat exactly five cloves of garlic. Okay? But if you eat six, I'll be emasculated immediately. Uh, if you don't like uh, this much garlic, use less. I don't care. If you don't like garlic at all, don't make it with garlic. I do. I like garlicky garlic. And it was delicious. <laughs> uh, you don't have to use that much garlic, but, uh, you know, I'm... I would posit there's no such thing as too much garlic. I am also on that boat, but I realize that some people are sensitive uh, and they have little tummies and stuff, you know. Oh, God, do I hate this guy. I haven't earned Which that. Which cream is an emulsion? No, don't add, you don't, no, you do not have to add cream to make an emulsion. There's no cream in mayonnaise. It's olive oil and eggs. <coughs> less good that butter is going to separate out you can already see it's making streams we should be able to like pull through yeah not quite no good butter is white he's so again coping, i don't know why carry gold butter is yellow why is he like this i don't have to do anything i have to do nothing i don't know maybe the cows oh. eat more alfalfa but to piss this guy off all i have to do is competently make something and exist i do know <coughs> butter is made from milk. Milk. And there is no natural way to milk. make butter yellow. 
But I love this guy. There are natural ways so to weird. make butter yellow. <laughs> and if the salt is, let's say, dusted with oh, I don't know, carrot dust. Carrot dust. Basically dried out, dehydrated carrots, drowned ground into a powder, thrown into the salt, into the uh, milk mixture to make butter. Well, suddenly it's all yellow. Bro. It's butter. I don't know why he's upset about the realities of butter. This is such a weird... He's just such a weird guy. There's nothing I can do for him. Because you're aware that's why cheddar cheese is fucking orange. Or yellow. It ain't goddamn because there's some part of the cow that makes fucking yellow cheese. It's because they added carrot juice to it. That's why. It's good though. Ooh, that's so tasty. Holy shit, this isn't quite ready. Wow, that's going to be good as fuck, dude. How can those ring wings be one way to ready or the other? Other. What? The fryer's not ready. The fryer hasn't heated up. Is this where he finds out that the green light means it's hot enough? They're just sitting in the basket. <laughs> They're not in the oil. They're not That's resting. Correct. They're not. He's just, doing dick. He's yelling about not understanding what I'm saying. He's yelling about his own thoughts. <laughs> you ever see a man scream at himself? God damn. Any day of the fucking week, I'll whoop your ass. He's so weird. Good Go, but, question, Jake. Are you the vinegar or the baking soda in this volatile reaction? I'm the fucking puppet master, dude. I own this guy's life. A couple of caveats. T- tell you what, how about this? Oh my god, are you talking about We have a blind shit? protein oh my and fuck. a blind dish style. I fucking kill myself. Or oh. no, I take the back. I, uh we have a blind protein Why? and a blind uh type of meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, hey, snack. Yeah, and then we have a blind protein. Hey, oh wait, I already delicious. did it and crushed it. You know what would be hilarious? Fish. That would be hilarious. Secret ingredient, fish. Um, <laughs> I just ooh, angry. yeah, you see. Also, why the fuck did you find the need to defend Zoe Deschanel? Z- defend Zoe Deschanel? Do you think she cares? What? Why is he mad about Zoe Deschanel? Wasn't that an hour ago? What is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whiskers, thanks for giving one to rub him. Dude. Everything I say lives inside this man's skull. It rattles around for free. <clears throat> oh, Poonages, you lost your gifts up after the hype train? No! Do you think she's going to come over and fuck you while, you're, while your fiancé is fucking Tyrone? Just fucking in his head, man. Just, yeah. Yeah, he's just a racist, insecure guy. He's upset that I have the riz to pull something like that off. That irritates him. Seeing the bubbles? A little bit more. Do you mean skullet? Yeah. No, he says it's not a skullet because he has a full head of hair, Birming Prince. He has a full head of hair. Mm, it's a little loose. But also uh, tighten up as you cool down. Um, if you make a very complex... Well, Jake, because I'm assuming channel name is Jake. <laughs> no. Who's ch- channel name? One of your chatters? Channel name. Always the bum play with you, isn't it, Dave? Why are you obsessed over Jake glutes? That is not me, dude. Uh, I don't want you. I was live, wasn't I? 
Wasn't I alive while he was doing it? Uh, <coughs> as a Zoe, I can confidently say that no Zoe wants to be near Dave. Actual Jake, defend Dave from Zoe's. We will call on self-defense, and I don't know if we will ever stop the un- Well, you know, it's it's possible. It's possible I could... All, all the Zoe's are quirky, quirky little gals. Uh, it, I'll just collect them all. Like little Pokemans. Like little Digimon. I'll collect the Zoe's. I don't really obsess over you. It's uh, <laughs> unprompted. I am not obsessing over you. No one's saying it. I only really cover you if you happen to cover me. <clears throat> if you just fucked off, I would. N you'd never hear me again. I will not fuck off. Are you are you are you ransoming yourself? But you, <laughs> Sukarima syndrome, his own guy. For whatever reason, can never just fuck off. I don't know why. But yeah. <clears throat> Plex. I can make my own butter and it'll be white when it's done because it's made from dairy products which are fucking white. <laughs> yeah, you can give Dave money. Uh if you make it with milk from the store, it'll probably be white, yeah. <laughs> if you make it from milk from a cow, like it won't sauce um <laughs> like if it's not a buffalo sauce what you can do is essentially um well i guess we can talk about that but you know cornstarch slurry is a great way to make uh a sauce that'll stick to stuff oh yeah okay in fact i i'm thinking about maybe next time i make the buffalo sauce to do a cornstarch slurry and just see what happens to it um maybe dave is projecting all this because he wants to be your femboy slave well Sorry, femboys. <clears throat> We're essentially done here. Oh, I forgot to do I have decided to start a research documentary show dedicated to unlocking the bizarre enigma that is Dave. It's going to be on the Used to Be About History channel. The only thing I need to know now is a show name. Any ideas? <laughs> Dr. Gamble's on his bullshit again, chat. It's going to happen. He's going to create He's cool. going to create a whole series Dave has really specific white supremacy ideas, just exclusively exclusively is racist against non-white butter. Wow. And the pole. <laughs> um, I'm going to take it and <clears throat> move it from the heat because I don't want it to go too hard. Do I have a squeeze bottle up here, dude? Fuck. I just have this. I don't have another squeezy. I thought I had another one. Yeah. All right. I really wanted a squeeze bottle. That's okay. Um... Yeah, it should. They're available for like a dollar on Walmart. Okay. Why is he indignant about that? Um, <clears throat> here's something I'll be indignant about. You shop at Walmart? Yikes. Couldn't be me. Uh, I have options in my city. Uh, I am not about to go to Walmart, dude. Uh, Walmart sucks. If it's the only place you got around to, I fucking feel bad. I feel bad for you, dude. Capitalism's failing you. What a terrible system. Bullshit. You're Jake. Channel name. What? Oh, fuck, dude. He's con he's fully convinced. I'm not Jake. You're just paranoid. I mean, he's really not. I don't want you, dude. If I show up, I'll be the hand and Jake channel or actual Jake. I've been in your chat before. What the fuck? Go. Why would I make a fake name for you? Uh, Coors Mountain Monster it is. Oh, no. Uh, Dr. Gamble, let me know if you're, uh, when your series on Dave kicks off. Sounds like a perfect lead-in for my docudrama about Brett King. <laughs> it's it's Poonages? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you don't even have a subscription to this channel right now, Poonages. You're going incognito. <laughs> Toxical. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Dude, he's slosh, right. though. 
You're going to hear that click. When oh, shit. Up. Yeah, she's. God damn. Leslie is right. Yeah, he's. His. Okay, I'll, I'll forgive the strainer because <clears throat> it goes into hot ass oil, which would kill any contaminants. Mm hmm. But yeah, he has content. He has cooking utensils on a board that has raw fucking chicken on it. The board? I hope you guys oh, have I, a fantastic day. I cleaned this last time you watched. Last time he watched this, I cleaned the board on stream. This, this is my raw board, which is why my tongs are in it because I use them in the fryer, dude. Uh, I hope you sheesh, anonymous gifter, thanks for going to Poonages. Chat, how do you have momentum right now? Juicebox Maven, thanks for the 22 months. How are you guys about to start another fucking hype train? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, you know, thanks to Ghost Dad. <laughs> Tonight on Ghost Rassers, Ghost Dad's Revenge. Thanks for having a bitty. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. If you do not have a subscription, the ad starts. I have nothing I can do for you. I love you, though. Thanks for hanging out. He's still mad. He's just walking. there. I want that stay and get happy. Wings imminent. God, this is the oh. imminent wings. See the the lights on. It's it's hot enough now to use. Well, thank fucking God. This is the first time that he actually had chicken wings. What? That reacted like they were getting deep fried. Yes. Be because we confit them first for twenty minutes at low heat. <laughs> That's why you should have low. You shouldn't be hard frying them. It won't be good. <laughs> That's the technique. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I love that he exists. I would love to show. If if I ever can talk my chef buddy into visiting, actually taking time off and coming up. I want him to watch Dave with me in the room while we do fat rips and stuff together. He would fucking hate this. Instead of the first round last night where they were just like, well, I'm in oil now. Yep. All That's right, right. we're take some of these chai boys we got from our garden. Ooh, Woody. Are they going to be good? I got these from my mom. Let's see. What? You said you got them from your garden. Yeah. We transplanted... We transplanted them from her garden to my garden when we planted the garden. <laughs> some were from seeds, some were from plants she already had, so we transplanted some. Yeah. It was cool. Actually, I think that it was only that one that we transplanted. We didn't... Well, the chives became Jake's chives. Yeah. Can't replant them. Well, they're mine now. I mean, they're in my garden. <clears throat> and then you said you got them from your mom. Tomato plants? Oh, yeah. She did start the tomato plants. That's right. Um... I'm lying about the chives. It's a chives lie. Got me, dude. You know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Do what? No, I'm not. You're, you're not gonna. You're not gonna go down some conspiratorial thinking about where I source my chives. <laughs> oh, thanks for saving me from that one. Sheesh! Wouldn't want to be deeply investigated on my chive sourcing. See if they're <laughs> tasty. Oh, dude, online. dude, you're finger placing wrong, wrong, wrong. Dude, you're going to cut yourself bad one of these days. I'm not. <clears throat> Jess is going crazy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, because you finally let the, the fucking temperature come up to God at Royal, come to goddamn temp. Yeah, this is the temperature for the second fry it has to be at. Everyone pay attention, this is important. Now we're just gonna, we're just gonna cook these until they're done. And it's gonna take, you know, five-ish minutes, maybe less. You're gonna see when they stop getting so angry in there. 
I want more actually. Yeah, this one's a little woody down there. Woody. Ooh, this one's nice. There we go. Come on, a little bit more. Concern troll? Yeah. Okay, now you're display displaying okay. proper techniques. Now I'm displaying proper technique. Same thing. Same thing twice in a row. Um. Hey. <laughs> displaying. <laughs> Dude, he should he should just watch this and shut up like this all the time because he would learn a lot. Isn't this so much more entertaining when he's not talking? Dude. Yeah, see that's tightening up a little bit. Now, I will say that this didn't stay together as much as I wanted it to, and I probably should have simmered it a little bit more, but I think I'm going to try a little cornstarch slurry next time and see what happens. I think it'll tighten up perfect. It gets a little gelatinous, so that's kind of what you want. In. You want it to stick to stuff. Mmm, that's so fucking tasty. Man. All right. I'm excited. Okay. We need... By the way, your chicken looks like absolute dog shit. What? What chicken? The the raw uncooked chicken wings? Salt cured? Sort of. Guy right yeah. there. Salt there. Brian. Right, Brian. Easy peasy. Speaking of that, we should have I'm some lemon squeezy the, uh, for these. That'd be good. Sauce in later. All right, let's look at these boys. How are we looking? Oh yeah, we're getting crisp. crisp oh yeah. And delish. They're gonna be oh, glassy. Oh my they look like you shit! Can see the crispy texture. What a coat, dude. The textures! Oh man. Okay. I actually I don't these, know. Man. Super easy. He's got it on like some really low definition. For Honestly, I don't right. even fucking right, so care. I'm, I'm gonna go take a piss break. I'm just gonna keep this plane. Oh, coping, dude. Wow. <laughs> you guys just want to watch me cook? He's literally so he's running and letting my content play. <laughs> He stream. walks away from stream and just lets my video run. Amazing. Uh, uh, you have permission, chat. Just or yet. you have permission, Dave, to run my content without ever doing anything um, uh, 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 it, during your live stream uh, if it's me roasting you. If it's me replying to you, you can run my content forever. Okay? I will DMCA you if it has not about you, though. Because <laughs> this is salty. That's hilarious. <laughs> Just advertise for me as I roast you every day. Mm, yeah, uh, when you up. season the chicken wings, you could also season them in celery salt. And I bet that would be fucking delicious. True. If you like just plain chicken wings, you're valid and uh, you should you should have more respect. They're delicious in every way. Yeah, man, that's so fucking tasty. Alright, these are just about done. You can see the texture on here is... Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. He'd, be, he'd get mad at me. You're gonna burn your finger! Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. I was a fat kid smoking weed too. I'll smoke to that! Thank you for the 420 biddies, Doc. We're real close. Speaking of biddies, I... Need Let's to keep it on this on. side for a little bit longer. I like mine a little well done. These are probably fine for most people. What up? I really do. I think if they're, I think, you I think you, if you cook chicken wings a little more than usual, they're way better. I love the crispy bits. For a dry rub wing, would you say you just toss the wings in the same way you do with the sauce? Yeah, absolutely. So when they come out of the oil, hit them with whatever dry rub you like. Literally anything. You could do, you know that beer butt rub they they sell at the store. You do anything. Season salt. 
Although I wouldn't like that. You could do fucking Tajin. You could do literally when they come out of the oil the second time. You could also, if you want to get a little crazy, Old Bay or something. Yeah. Beer butt. Yeah. Go. He's just like in the bathroom crying. He's Grow back now. any fruits, veg, or herbs? Yeah, I do. Uh, I have peas, carrots. You could also do herbs. It'd be really good just to do like uh, cilantro, onion, lime, uh, cumin, uh, chili powder, paprika, something like that. You could, Old Bay Wings would be delicious. You could do um, – uh, a lot of people do lemon pepper. If you do any of these, if you want to make it really fuck, little secret, instead of just doing dry rub, toss them in a little bit of butter first. Or a little bit of olive oil first, right before. Not a lot. You don't want to get it wet. Just enough to get them a little bit more fat on them, and then do the rub. Or you could do the rub in the butter and do a butter, butter-based butter situation, which would also be fucking goaded, okay? Beans. Uh, yeah. Also, if you want to, you can take them from this second stage and not do the second fry. Take them from the second stage after you confit them. Take them out to the grill. Put them, put oil and seasoning on them, and cook them on the grill. They'll get crispy and delicious that way too. Uh, 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 lettuce, chives, tomatoes. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, we, we're gonna plant corn. I think we have to corn plant. Butter is not I yellow. Go. Go. He's just singing. Butter's not like yellow. Or How many beers has he had? In this I know. Oh. About to crack a new one. It though. has something added to it, like cheddar fucking cheese. Dude, this cheddar ain't orange. Che- That's a lie too. Cheddar ain't orange. That's a lie too. <laughs> what a country song. Cheddar rain orange. I told my baby that cheddar rain orange and she left me. Now I'm all alone. <laughs> Just like Jake. I'm all alone. Cooking some good old fucking wings. Dude, he's singing fucking cope songs to me. Holy shit. He's just, what the fuck did I do to this guy? <coughs> These are the sorriest, saddest sacks of fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god, this is horrible. I mean, the first wings look horrible. The first wings look horrible. The ones that aren't fucking cooked, the ones that aren't done, the ones, the ones that are not finished cooked. You need to cook those further. Okay, they're not done. If, if you're not gonna eat those. Of course they look bad. You don't want to eat them. You want to seal them in a plastic Ziploc and freeze them and then fry them anytime you want fry, uh, wings because it's awesome. These like look like, like, like emaciated fetuses left out on a highway. Hmm. I don't know what the hell these are, but they're not chicken wings. Guys, coping. Anyway. Oh, and there's one other thing I forgot. I, it's not I, zucchini, is it? I'm so excited Cucumbers? watching him. Look at these. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to justify basic understanding of how to cook chicken wings. Scream. That's what you forgot. Shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, these are just about I done. Smoke too much weed to fuck it for the volumes. This guy is at. What a mad little guy. Let me do this. They're about to get crispy and crunchy. You know, there was a time I could have been probed into doing that. Probed? Laser burn, but I know I can make cook wings better better than him. Cook wings better than him. I'm not going to prove it. (laughs) That's amazing. That's incredible. I'm not going to prove that I can do it. Somebody wants me to prove it, and some channel can fucking pay me to prove it. Pay you to prove that you can cook chicken wings? Just follow this recipe. Just do it exactly how I did it, and you'll do great. Let me do this first real quick. 
So if I'm doing a single batch, I put the paper towel down here. So I got these two, drain them. So what are you doing with the other batch? We already salted these before. However, uh, if you want to, if you just like them plain, great time just to go. salt them real quick. Good to go. Toss them around a little bit. You can hear, I mean, right? Yeah, you can hear how crispy they are. Oh, is he going to pretend to be sleepy now? What? Uh, I'm actually going to turn this. I'm going to unplug this for now. I want this to fall so I can confit the rest of these. That's not confiting! It is. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Two days of destroying this man's life, just correctly making chicken wings without involving him. Do not know basic cooking terms! You can still hear him cooking in here? That is not corn feed! Croc life, croc life, croc life! You stupid son of a really bitch! Croc life! Yeah. Okay, what what is confine? Con confine is low heat cooking while submerged in a fat of your choice. Confine is laying fat, usually duck. Not usually duck. In, uh, they, duck confit is a dish, though. In the fat uh -huh. of other ducks. If duck fat is real good, that's why they do it with duck fat when they when they're cooking ducks. To cook it in its own fat because it, it yields so much fat when you render it. So they cook it in it because it's delicious. But I don't, I'm not cooking a duck. Cooking chicken wings. <laughs> so I don't have any duck fat on me, I guess. You could do pretty baller chicken wings and duck fat if you want to spend, I don't know, $100 to do that for enough fat to pull that off. I'm not into that. And then recycling said fat. Uh huh. To again, confit bake other ducks. Recycling the fat to confit bake the other. Du I mean, yeah, you can make you can make a you can do confit in a duchy in the in the oven if you want. Yeah. <laughs> a deep fryer God, cannot confit fucking anything. Uh, a deep fryer is the place you would likely confit most often if it's not duck confit. <laughs> like, you'd probably want a large batch situation. Like, it's just, it's the best, it's a deep fat fryer. It's where you would do it. It's reliable. You don't have to. Like, if you don't have a fat fryer, you can, again, you can use another vessel. It's okay. <laughs> just need, you just need fat to be heated up. That's fine. Oh, my God. You can just call me Jake. Man. All right. Uh, so that's a little extra oil off there. You can hear the textures already fucking banging, right? Yeah, come on. I don't even give a shit if somehow the fucking Irish learned how to naturally turn their fucking butter yellow. I don't care. <laughs> I forgot he was talking about butter. I was really confused. Okay. How's he going to cope when you eat them? My I don't know. bigger gripe is... That's what I'm so interested about. That's what I wanted him to finish because these were really good and they're crispy and you could just... I mean, there they are. And so, how did, what is he going to do when I eat this? With this ridiculous He's been trying not to finish this on purpose. Ridiculous notion. You can con feed chicken wings. You can't. You can. I just did it in front of your face. Yeah. Mix that up. Make sure it's delicious, delicious, a delicious. Sauce here. More garlic. There we go. That's it. <coughs> you can feel like I'm saucier. You can add more sauce. You like them with that sauce. Oh wow, that that those look like some bitchin' fucking wings. <coughs> Obviously, Thanks, man. Ooh. Vinegary. <coughs> Keep going. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Do a little. Yeah, I love I love the angry J uh, J or actual Jake fans in the chat. Yeah, I again, I could whoop his ass any day of the week. Jake will cook the rest of the wings. Why up hasn't his butt. he challenged me to do a one-on-one -on -one cook off with him? Why? 
what a weird what a weird way to cope about that why hasn't jake challenged me to a 1v1 cook-off hmm. uh it wouldn't be fun you're pathetic Seriously, why is he challenging you to a 1v1 cookout? That's not, it's not a reasonable request to make of somebody. Why hasn't he challenged me in a duel, man? I've streamed with him. Because just fucking look at what I'm cooking. Make something good. Feel secondhand embarrassment? Oh, I'm way over that for Dave. What would a 1v1 cookoff even be? We could celebrate. No, we don't live anywhere close to each other. Hey, we, we, could, we, could, we could decide on a randomizer on a YouTube video before. And then decide on the other two randomizers. Randomizers? Do you just want to, like, cook? Just cook something. It doesn't have to be... <laughs> I mean, then again, on that note, this this type of contest is almost useless. Cause I love him pausing my on my delicious for wings. Me, his fans will vote for him. Yeah, and I'll crush you because I have more fans. It's not fair. I agree. He just wants your food. I want my food. That makes sense. Okay, come on, man. Just watch, watch me but eat But again, them. I mean, this looks it's like all I want. shit. <laughs> it looks like shit. All right. But whatever, you know, y'all have your all prejudices, and y'all have your all this, and y'all have your all that, and I don't fucking care. Y'all have your all... If you hate me, you fucking hate me. I don't care. Hate you? And that's the difference between actual Jake and me. That's the big difference. What I don't it? care about being hated. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. In fact, I brought object. What? He couldn't even... He choked it out. He couldn't even ch say the words. His body literally rejected this delusion. Okay, dude. Well, do a little one of these. Got some of that. One of those. This is gonna be perfect for the drizzle. And we can do that. The drizzler. Except, God forbid, you move the actual wing portion. Hell no, I like it. Uh, ooh, I want this. These garlic boys that are just. Yeah. Dude, get yourself one of those silicone there. spoons like this. Garlic. They're great. Okay. Because they can actually, like, bend and scrape the side of a bowl. And then. If you wanted extra sauce, uh -huh. fucking go to the pan and drizzle some extra fucking sauce over. Don't use the sauce in the bowl. Use the other sauce is now his complaint. Why, though? He's mad. He's mad I didn't use the other really good sauce. I used the sauce I was already using, not the sauce I wasn't using. What a strange fucking guy. You can't predict the thing he's going to pretend that I did wrong. Or put it in a small bowl and leave it on the side. Why? What? Is that a reasonable guy to you? <laughs> what the fuck? Little chive action. Little color. Oh, look at that. My dude. Yeah, this plate of wings looks like what a struggling bar sends out to me to try to save face. A struggling bar sends to you to save face? Because the person they hired didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I have... What situation is that describing? Sir, please. Uh, the, the, the waiter walks out with a jiggling plate of crispy, delicious wings. Oh, please, sir. Please like these. Ah! And he drops it down. And he, oh, please don't. You're scathing reviews of the food critic lord of patriarchy. And then he eats the wings. Dude, he's the pickle guy from Spongebob. Go. Couple of... No bar Dave goes to his struggle. Chicken wings. With the last part of the wings still attached. I have some drumettes. 
or or media part of the elbow of the wing, some elbows. You have some elbows? He's calling the chicken wings elbows? <laughs> what an expert in the field. You know your chicken elbows? I'm going to put chicken elbows on my menu. <laughs> hey, chat. You going to come in for some hot? Hey, 50 cent chicken elbows, chat. Which I don't fucking want in chicken wings. You don't want chicken elbows? What? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make money with this. Hey Jake, why don't you open up a fucking food truck? Why don't you open up a restaurant? <laughs> you're not good. You're only a quality home chef. Now you have to expand it into a business. And then if I do and the business is successful. Jake, you haven't won a Michelin star, you cuck! <laughs> Fucking a wife, a full kennel of puppy girls. Successful chicken wing food truck. Jake, you fucking loser! <laughs> it's fully copes. <laughs> See how well this type of shit works out for you. She's the you. queen of them. You're dead inside eight months. I'm dead in eight months? Oh, shit, I've been cursed. <laughs> I've been cursed. Nobody wants this in chicken wings. Nobody wants delicious chicken wings? I don't want the bottom part of the wing sticking out of my fucking chicken wing. I don't want the goddamn uh, thigh knuckle part on my plate. You don't want the drum? You don't want the flat or... Do you want chicken fingers? Do you want chicky nugs? I'll make chicky nugs. <laughs> Does he just want chicken nuggets? I'll make you some chicken. You can come to my chicken nugget place, man. I just want the part of the wing that I fucking paid for. Not... You don't want more? <laughs> okay. I like, again, I like this part of the wing. Like, I like this crispy little edge. You don't have to eat it. <laughs> it's not yours. <laughs> you can cut that off if you make these. I, I will, won't give a shit. Do it if you'd like to. <laughs> I would never do that, however. Ever. Let's take a picture. There we go. Uh, we took a good picture. Oh, what, picture for your Instagram where you cook all this dramatically great food and nope. never fucking show us how it's done? Wait. He watched me make this from start to finish. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, here was the picture so you can see it better. Uh, as you can see, we're, our, uh, our texture is fucking amazing. You know, big old bits of garlic. You can see how crispy and delish. If you like chicken wings, these were amazing. I mean, how do you not like this part? I mean, it's just weird to me. They're chicken wings. See the big pieces of delish garlic? Anyway, I'm about to eat these. Let's watch it, and then we'll watch the demon video. <laughs> <laughs> have to move those in. Oh. Here we go. Here's the cope moment of the stream. I have no idea how he's going to deal with this. There. 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 <laughs> Clearly, they're not the same way. That's right. That's there the picture go. that I just showed you. Uh. <laughs> I guess now it's time to eat them, huh? That's right. All right. That's right. Huh, huh. But I think since I started cooking them, these are my favorite bits, right? So you can see how crunchy. I mean, come the fuck on, dude. Of course they're going to be crunchy. You cook them properly. What? Now I'm yelling. Now I'm yelling. I'm yelling. What the fuck? I'm fucking.
fucking hello? Um. <laughs> Clip that! Clip that shit! That's fucking crazy! Of course! Run it back, dude! I mean, come the fuck on, dude. Of course they're gonna be crunchy. You cooked them properly! It's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Two days of bitching and screaming over how you're not a cooking it right. Of course they're going to be crunchy. You cooked them properly. <laughs> the other the other ones what? You didn't. You the other ones aren't <laughs> oh my god, he admitted it. <laughs> you cooked him like shit. You can't caught. Oh my god. You cooked the first batch of chicken wings. And you know what? I this is the first batch of chicken wings. This is those. Hello? That's the same ones. Those are the first ones. <laughs> I don't care. Fuck your girlfriend. What? I don't care. Fuck your girlfriend. His life is falling apart. His reality is breaking. I fucking destroyed this man. There's a psychic bullet hole that I've put through this man's brain on total fucking accident. I didn't mean to. This is fucking crazy. You cook the other chicken wings and you can see them right there. They look like fucking discarded aborted fetuses what can I do to get across to Dave that that's because it's a two step cooking process it is a two step cooking process that's what the cooking video is about Go. that you are so fucking stupid you can't see this like you you should like i'm pretty sure if i if i taught my dog how to make this he could make this fucking thing i'm pretty sure he's a collie i think he, i think we teach you like lift it up and drop the drop the thing like this is this is such easy shit i said at the begin you cook it twice man just me screaming all right, I'm done with this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go. <laughs> He's like, I can't do this. Jake, anytime, anywhere. You okay? Uh, your house alone with yourself. Make chicken wings. And you know what? Fuck it. I'll announce my new show. Okay, cool. What's your new show? My new show is going to start at noon on Tuesday. Um. Okay. It's going to be a one convenient day to stream, Dave. Hmm. It's a week show at noon, Central Standard Time, mm -hmm. where I will bring up a variety of topics. Mm -hmm. I may or may not give my personal viewpoint on it. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Uh, maybe I'll show up there at noon on Tuesday, but probably not. Uh, okay, so Dave, uh, we watched him cope about chicken wings, and then at the end of it, he said... Well, yeah, they're good because you made them right. Okay. Fe that feels worth it. That's the twist. That's an M. Night Shyamalan twist, if I've ever seen one. 
in a saga. Uh, this is this is funny. Apparently, Sugavera syndrome, uh, Sugareva syndrome, uh, told Dave to read about butter, and so this is Dave reading about butter. Uh, okay, syndrome. Okay, sent this. If you don't know the lore behind butter, I used some butter in a video, and Dave has gone to cope so bad because my butter is yellow that he's like, nope, butter can't be yellow. It can't be yellow. It has to be white because my butter is white because butter comes from milk. And so uh, he has had vast conspiracy theories uh, because I used butter. I, I don't know. He's very hung up on butter for some uh, – it was – made a joke about having butter because he, he made he got mad at sarah for having like margarine or something i don't know he's just a strange man so anyway the hidden meaning behind the color of butter in 2017 gene smith made headlines for smuggling bricks of Kerrygold irish butter from nebraska to wisconsin where the sale of Kerrygold was banned it's creamier and doesn't have any wax or taste. It's a richer yellow. Yeah. Smith's frustration led her and other butter lovers to fire a little lawsuit challenging a law dating back to the 50s, which prohibited the sale of non-rated and non-licensed butter. You can hear how fucked he is. Is this from today, dude? What time is it? And punish lawbreakers with up to six months of jail time and a fine up to $1,000. Our clients and other Wisconsinites have been forced to travel to other states uh, to get the Kerrygold brand. Woo! The lawsuit had nothing to do with the fact that uh, Kerrygold Irish butter is yellow, which does not come from eating fucking grass. God damn it! <laughs> Five hours ago? Amazing. Milk is white! Milk is white! Okay? It's white! Alright, chat. If you're not subscribed, fuck you watching ad! You've had your chances! I'm done shilling for myself! It's not yellow! It's not yellow. <laughs> Yeah, the ch original cheddar cheese took on a yellow hue because it was aged in a fucking cave. <laughs> in a cave? It was aged in a cave? <laughs> cave aged. <laughs> I want to go to a cheese hole. That's what you call them. You call them holes. Cheese holes where you go. keep the cheese and you age it. That's a cheese hole. I want to go to a cheese hole and just visit. Uh, you don't make butter from milk, you make it from cream, and cream isn't white. Day. Lily, no, you make it from milk! What are you talking about? Dave said he makes, you make it from milk. Huntress Mars, you give one a potato wraith, saving you from the ads. Let's go! Go! Coarse Mountain, dude. He's back at it. Well, how can uh, yellow, how can yellow if milk white? It's true. Um... Anyway, it had everything to do with the fact that the it is not graded according to the state standards. <laughs> Following months, Kerry Gold initiated a process to have the butter graded. <laughs> so funny, and dude. Will declared its lawsuit to be mute. By late 2017, it would be legally appearing on Wisconsin's shop shelves. Uh, the 2017 law... Uh-oh. Look at the horizon of this article. What's the real difference between white and yellow butter? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> What's Dave going to do? <laughs> How much you want to bet this boils down to, well, I could be wrong, but somehow Jake is also wrong. Lawsuit left many with a burning question. How is the color and texture of Kerrygold creating such passionate devotees? AKA I have no idea. I haven't seen it. Yellow. My thing is, it's a fucking dye. I just think they had a little yellow dye number five. Dude, I have said this from the beginning, okay? I have said that Irish butter, its the, they are grass-fed. It's just what happens when you have grass-fed. 
I grew up next to uh, a farm. They had two cows. They ate grass. Butter is made by cows, of course. It. It's white. <laughs> cows are fed grain. Irish cows, on the other hand, are grass fed. <laughs> it's the yellow tinted beta carotene present in the grass that carries over into the butter fat. Let's go! Go. Cool. Cool. Uh, in the case of grass fed butter, the higher the fat content, the yellower it becomes. Amazing. Oh, just listen to his fucking voice, dude. Captain, butter storm on the horizon. Dave, no, turning back for white butter. Um, European butter is 82 to 86. Amazing. Oh, he's getting sleepy now. Oh, I'm sleepy. I'm over this. Uh, butter fat. You ever notice he yawns when he's coping? I'm just going to toss that out there. That's a tell. He's got a poker tell. He yawns when he's in mental crisis. Well, U.S. butters is 80. Kerry Gold says, "Of course you had, of course you had yellow butter in Wisconsin. You have cows. <laughs> the taste comes from grass-fed cow milk. Contains 82 percent butterfat. Yeah, which makes it yellower and creamier than most American brands. Yep, not that fucking yellow. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dave, go." go. Clocks to butter luck next time. That's your best work, Doc. Clocks to butter luck next time. <laughs> Can we get like a little thumbnail for that? Incredible. Clocks to butter luck next time. <laughs> that should be the title of the video, dude. <laughs> it's cold. Not that uh, Mephistopheles and I expounded. Yeah. Amazing. I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm wrong on this. Uh huh. And Jake's right. Uh, and this, has been right since the fucking jump. This insider states the high amounts of omega three found in grass. Jake uh, is right. Jake, you've been right. Uh, Say it. Say it, boy. <laughs> Why would you just say stuff you don't know about? Just look it up. Be like, I don't. Literally, it. There's nothing more. That's right. There's nothing more. It's just always been that answer. That's correct. <laughs> You're you've been arguing from a from a place of ignorance, and all you had to do is read on stream for two seconds. All right, fine. Fuck it. I'm wrong on Kerry Gold Butter. Let's go. You gonna cope? You gonna cope? But Jake, but these are the images. Are you fucking? This me? wasn't what Jake served in his home. I can't fucking deal with it. I can't. How the fuck? How? How is this a thing? A man? What? Actually, actually. <sighs> I think Jake stole packaging from Kerrygold Butter and uh, got, got a, a, an even more yellow butter. I don't care. I've just been screaming about it for days. Also, let me invent new conspiracies about Jake. What if I just had some butter, Dave? What if I just purchased some butter? But fine. Fuck it. I don't care. You don't care? Staked a lot of your personal well-being on this particular opinion. The good name of Kerry Gold has been preserved. <laughs> Fun fact, butter gets more yellow as it softens. Oh. I was fucking wrong. That's right, you were. But Jake, Jake still conspiracy theories about that guy. Go. Cool. Jake wasn't just using butter. No, 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 no. He's actually been fucking gaslighting me about his butter the whole time. Couldn't be that I was just wrong about the guy. Uh, Jake has been dying his butter just to mess cool. up the day. That's goddamn right I have. That joke I made was so good it crashed my internet right as you praised it. Oh. Yeah, drink more. Whatever. I defended myself on cheddar cheese. <laughs> on cheddar cheese. 
on a on a different topic. <laughs> All right. It is, I take no joy in stacking W's against this man. It's effortless. I do nothing. He opens his mouth and he hands me W's. I'm not doing it on purpose. He continues to abuse himself in this way. I've done nothing. All I did was purchase some butter. I didn't know he was going to get mad about that. How was I to know he was going to be mad about my oh. butter purchase? How was I to know that he would be irritated that someone in my household, a person I love very much, that she ate a butter? <laughs> How? Okay, I was wrong. Ireland doesn't have a massive conspiracy of dying their butter. That's ridiculous. However, it is clear. Jake is the one who dies his butter. That's right. That's the reasonable, that's the reasonable opinion to have. 